Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, I'm out here, as you can tell, uh, it's a little bit cold. Uh, those that uh, have been outside today know it's a little bit different. It's weird, it's going 80 degrees down to 30 and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, today what I want to get to is I want to get to uh, kind of some changes of directions, but it's scenario based for me. Um, when I'm watching soccer games or I'm recruiting or whatever it is, what I see a lot of is I see people going into challenges where let's say I have the ball right here and there's a defender right in front of me and I get there right before them, what I see is I see them actually trying to go through the person. That's not going to work. I see them trying to go through. When all they have to do is pull the ball away and go somewhere else, whether it's this direction, that direction, backwards, whatever it is. Instead of keeping the ball, people try to magically go through people. So we're going to work a little bit on that today. Um, two different ways you can call these, in my opinion. Uh, you have V-cuts, you have L-cuts, uh, changes direction. All it is is angle-based. That's kind of what decides what it's called, okay? So to start with, what we're going to do is some V-cuts. Now, call them V because if I start here and I pull the ball away and then I push it, I am drawing a V on the ground with the soccer ball, okay? So you wanna try to do these and try to keep it somewhat consistent on that line, all right? So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be right foot, you're gonna pull it back and push with the outside. Then you'll go with the left foot and it'll take you right back where you started. So so I pull, push, and when I get here, pull, push, and I'm right back where I started. Now, if you notice that hop in there, I'm not standing flat-footed and doing this, okay? I actually have that hop. So when you pull, you hop at the exact same time. That's gonna be critical. That gives you the ability to create that space, but more importantly, when you hop, now I can get low and I can push off and I can accelerate into the space that I'm trying to get to, okay? So again, what you're gonna do is pull, push, and then the other way. So all I'm doing is I'm just creating space, all right, pull, push, and I'm trying to make it consistent. So if I drew that line, you know, some people, you can put cones here and stuff like that, then it would be consistent, okay? So that's number one. The second one, pull to the inside of the same foot. So we just did this with the outside. Now it's gonna be pull, open those hips, and I'm going that same space, okay? Now it's left foot, pull, open those hips, and I'm going back where I started, okay? So this one, all you're doing is open those hips a little bit, all right, so I can create that space. Okay, still drawing that V on the ground, okay? The entire time, again, hop, open those hips, okay? Next one I wanna see. Now we're gonna get uh, to a little bit different. This one is gonna be across your body, all right? So what I mean is it's before we were doing everything with the same foot, so it was going right to right, left to left. Now it's gonna be left foot to the outside of the right. So it'd be quick here, pull, push, okay? When I got here, it would be right, pull, push with the left, okay? So it's really quick when I get here, pull, push, all right? It's really tough to kind of get the concept. It's not one you see very often, but the more we do these, the more you're gonna be able to get in situations and the muscle memory takes over and you're good to go, all right? So again, with that one, it's across your body, pull, push, pull, push with the outside, okay? Create that angle again. Next one. Now we're going the same thing across our body. So be left, right. Now you're opening those hips. All right. So be pull to the inside. Okay. Get here. Pull across to the inside. All right. So real quick, be here. Pull to the inside. Pull to the inside. Pull to the inside. All right. Just try to get it a little bit consistent there. Okay. Now, some people ask, why do you have all these different ones for the same concept? Here's why. All right, so if we go back to where we started, pull, push, you can see the angle I created was right here. The next one we did, pull to the inside. So if you notice now, if I start the exact same spot, the first one went here. The second one, I got further away, allowed me to create a little bit more space and go here, okay? The last one across our body allowed me to create even more space. So now, starting here, here we go with one, second one was here, third one was all the way back here. So they're situational, they allow you to create different angles and also create different space away from your defender. So if there's a defender right in front of me and I want to go here, 
I pull it away from them and I'm in that space quickly. All right, so all those options right there. Next one, behind the leg. What I want you to focus on is that hop. It's very critical. Now, when you do this, I'm gonna turn so you can see. When I pull it, you can notice my feet are separated right here. When I pull, they're actually gonna switch position, okay? So when I pull, that foot goes forward and it gives me the space to go behind the leg, all right? So again, if I'm here, I pull and then I bring it behind me, okay? So the technique is pull, push, all right? Sorry, sorry, it's pull, pull actually, all right? But anyway, so what it looks like is again, you're still drawing that V. You're still drawing that V. So when I hop, pull behind the leg, step, pull behind the leg, all right? So I'm just focusing on getting those angles and getting that hop in there to create that space every time. Now, once you get it, then you can make it a little more difficult and take that little step out of there. So it would be here to here, and all you're doing is you're grabbing it over and over, and you just kind of continue, okay? So that's your challenges. Now, when you make it into an L, all you're doing is changing the angle. So if we go back to the very beginning, we did this. That's a V. If you notice, my push took me forward. An L would be here to the side. So same thing, except I'm going here. All it is is angle. It's angle-based. So I can even do this move, pull, and I can go here, okay? So just work on those, work on changing direction. What I want you to do though is when you do it, have in your mind specifically where you are trying to go with it, all right? Not just doing the move and it's all not consistent. Try to figure it out, make it consistent. So next level, right foot everything. So what you're gonna do, pull, push, still have my Vs. So it's pull, push, pull back behind the leg, okay? So all I'm doing is drawing those Vs over and over, okay? Nice and consistent. Obviously now, I bet you know, going left foot. So you pull, push, then I pull back behind the leg again. So I'm still drawing those Vs, all right, or Ls or whatever angle I want and trying to keep it consistent with that. Really simple exercise. Do each of those for a minute or two. You will be amazed at how much your technique and your ability to control the ball improves. Everybody stay healthy. We'll see you next time.